Oh, can I see her? And the only one who has let me see her has been Sammy. I don't want it that way, but I do want her in my life. And I would love to have you back in my life. I know who you are. I know what you are. I know how other people feel about you. I don't give a shit. You're my son. I love you. Do you understand? Yeah. I just want you to see right. I'm not... Anytime I have her, I don't want to get in trouble because I have her. And somehow it happens. And I don't know how it happens. And I don't really give a shit how it happens. But... I want to stop be like being that. in trouble. It shouldn't be like this. We need to let her Grow see her up. grandmother and her grandfather without any consequences, and I agree. Can can we grow up? I didn't say that word. Can can we find a happy medium? Can I see her? Can we find a future? Just think about it. Oh. Her birthday's coming up soon. I would love to see her on her birthday. We would love to have her in our life, but if this continues, I'm gonna choose Larry over you guys. As you should, pay attention, you should pay. She's my future, even though she's my family and you're my family. There's problems in your marriage. You should pick your husband over your family that's grown up and moved out. Your immediate family is your husband. Pick him first. If you have any conflict, follow his lead. She wants to see her granddaughter, that's it. If you have questions, you should follow your the partner. The only conflict between us is because of us. Is this. It's yeah. our fault. I'm not giving you any conflict. Any conflict that's in your life is... Really? From over there. I don't talk to... I don't bring anything. If you have conflict, that's whatever. But if you are having problems with your marriage, pay attention to your husband and talk to your husband. My conflict is my son doesn't even respond when I try to talk to him. I just want you to see your granddaughter. I love you as much as I love my granddaughter, regardless of whether you want to think that or not. And I have never, since she's been born, chose Sammy over you. Since she's been born, she has been my only choice. Raya has been my only choice. And you can believe that or not, but it is true. Raya has always been my only choice since she's been born. Then see her as much as you want. I don't care. Do whatever you I want. Can't. Be you're an adult. Do what you want. If you have questions, ask her husband. Nick, she wants you in her life too. Art, she asked you to be quiet. Art, what do you say to that? I gave you your answer. No. Can I go? Can I go? This is this isn't gonna go anywhere. I'm sorry, Lisa. Yeah. Bye, Grandma! You bye, Grandma! You bye! Bye, Grandma! Bye, Grandma! Say, no, I don't want you in my life, or... You chose her over me. Multiple time. times. Repeatedly. I told you flat out what you were doing and how to fix it. He told you how to fix it, and you chose not to. Multiple times. For about a year now, you've purposely chose... To Raya. Raya. Samantha. Raya. Bullshit. So are you disgusted with me? Not just your actions. Like, I just flat out told you what I'm pissed off about. And I've told you multiple times, I've written you emails, written you letters, all of this stuff. And you don't give a shit. You only give a shit whenever other people are around. I've told you, I think I've counted, last time I counted was probably like, this last winter, I told you 13 different times exactly why I'm pissed off at you. Over the past year, 13 different times. You don't give a shit. Over the past year, the last time you spoke to me was in June. Her birthday party is May 7th, 12 to 3. Just so you guys know. <laughs> fine, Nick. Your car's fine. Ready to go, princess? 
I have tried multiple times trying to get a hold of you. And the only way that I can actually get you to respond back to me is to hoodwink it in right now. Or to jeopardize my job by showing up in my work multiple times, even when the office tells you not to be there. I have not come since they said that. I have not come since Valentine's Day. And that is the only time they told me not to come. Only time. Michelle's told you twice, I know of. No. No. Hey, you're getting loud. Valentine's Day was the only day that I've been to your work and your work said, please don't come back. And I had to beg for my job that day. That is the only time I've ever been to your work. Cheaper than my truck. Huh? Did you, use, you use ether to try and start it when you were trying to get it running. Um, starting fluid. Starting fluid. Yeah. Did it backfire? No. That box was completely blown up. That it, little spot that was cracked in the front. Yeah. When I took it out, it was in like nine pieces laying. Really? Holy shit. So that little spot wasn't where it was leaking. It was leaking air all from the bottom and shit. Then why didn't I put my hand on it? Did it did it start? Because you constricted a little bit of air, I don't know. Mm. But I got the old one out. I just gotta put the new one in. Yeah. Bitch. But I have told her the same shit as you just said. Um. But and I told her she should have never gone to your work. I yelled at her for that. She's gone to my work seven times. She shouldn't anymore. I told her that's not how you handle shit. I told her that if she cost me my job, I'm gonna take legal action. No. I just replaced the TV. But uh, I uh, I told her that she needs to stay away from Sammy because the biggest thing is when when she gets around Sammy and she only comes over here to get the baby. She does. But then start, Sammy starts fucking talking to her and asking her questions and shit, and she can't fucking keep her mouth shut. Take a step that way. See that top right there, the very top left? I know the person that lives there. Uh -huh. And they've seen the yellow truck here often, like Wednesdays, Thursdays, sometimes, over the past, since like October. Mm -hmm. So I know that she comes here more often. And also, I know a person lives. Like, you know those apartment buildings down the road from you? Samantha's car has been at your house, not as often, but usually on like Tuesday, Wednesdays, during the week. I don't ask for this information. It gets presented to me. Because when I met that person, I was driving the yellow truck. Right. So they think, oh, are you here? No, my mom's driving. I'm like, well, your mom's here again. Thanks. So either she's lying to you, or I don't know. Well, all I know is she comes over here sometimes to get the baby. And lately she hasn't even been doing that. She, Bonnie's coming over here to get the baby. So, but we're gonna go, I'll let you get back to what you- Were you in town on the 4th of this month? Was I in town on the 4th? Yeah. I'd have to look at my phone. Okay. Well, it's either the 3rd or the 4th that they told me the yellow truck was here. I'll look at my phone, I'll let you know. Bye.